Okay, right, well now I wanted to do some uh, checks on a Shockey diode. This is the one here, I'll just put the uh, magnifying glass. It's um, a 90SQ035, so that's 9 amps uh, Shockey diode with 35 volt uh, reverse bias maximum. Um, and I wanted to see what the uh, forward voltage was, and you can see here that it's showing about 250 millivolts and that's with a load. Now I'm using my LAM, my large array of miniature bulbs which is a long bar of bulbs and the very bottom set are on. Now they're 40 milliamp uh, lamps and in fact if I look at my sino meter which is the cheap Chinese meter, it's showing about 40-50 milliamps uh, flowing through the circuit and we're getting, uh, as I said, 250 millivolts. Now in the last video I did about Shockey diodes, I heated this thing up with the heat gun and it went to zero forward voltage. But the initial forward voltage was only about uh, 0.15 or something and that's because I was using it on the diode test range, this one here. Um, and uh, that obviously puts a very, very tiny current through the Shockey diode where it has its minimum forward voltage. So let's put some realistic currents through this thing and uh, see what happens to the forward voltage. And the way I'm going to do that is just turn on these rows of bulbs like this. Okay, let's have a look at what we've got on the sinometer. Uh, so that's 0.78 of an amp. Let's just keep going a bit. Let's get one amp. Let's try that. Yeah, 1.05. So we've got one amp flowing through that diode, and we're now reading uh, 330 millivolts, 0.33 uh, volts forward drop. So let's carry on going. Turn all these smaller ones on. I'll leave the bigger ones for now. What we got? 1.7 amps, and we're up to 345 millivolts uh, forward voltage drop. Now look what's happening. That forward voltage is gradually dropping very very slowly. And the reason for that is because this thing is warming up. Because there's a little bit of current going through it, it's getting warm. And as it gets warmer, its forward voltage drops. They call it thermally stable. In effect, it's a sort of negative feedback loop. It gets warmer the forward voltage drops, there's less uh, voltage dissipated, well that means there's less wattage generated inside the diode and so it cools off again. So it's got negative feedback, it's thermally stable and it is still dropping. No, well it went up there but anyway, let's see how warm it is. Oh, it's just mildly warm. Okay so let's put some more of these lamps on, some of these bigger ones now. Right. See what we've got there. Okay, so that's three and a half amps now. And now you can see on this thing that it's gone up to 0.36 it was. It's dropping again because it's presumably getting warmer. Let's have a little feel. Yeah, it's just warm now. So about 0.35 forward voltage drop. And now I'm going to go all the way, turn all these lamps on and we've got about 4.6 amps on the sinometer ah, it's not gone up much 0.3, probably was a bit higher than that but again it's dropping you see because it's getting warm so it's going to settle at about 350 millivolts, let's see how hot it is, probably quite warm now actually with 4.5 amps it's not majorly hot, but I mean it'll get warmer as more warmth builds up inside it. But that's interesting. So at the full whack, okay, four and a half amps isn't quite what uh, I put through it in my application, but about 350 millivolts. And the reason I'm doing this, see all the lamps on there, um, is because the charge controller that I make, uh, if I can find one, well, this one here, my PWM5 has this Shockey diode there under a piece of yellow heat shrink and I was just interested in how much uh, 
and, and that, that does really necessary because it um, provides all the uh, uh, short circuit protection and I was just wondering how much uh, uh, loss there was in that diode and of course it's a lot better than a silicon diode which would be at about 0.6 volts and this is now settled at about 0.35 of a volt, 350 millivolts 4.6 amps with the entire array of light bulbs switched on.